Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Emacs Formula ESCs. Now these are a 32-bit ESC rated for 45 amps in a 55 amp burst which is pretty insane for such a small ESC. Now it does have a heat sink as you can see here and it does have some filtration however not as heavy as others but it's a pretty good amount of filtration. They're pretty nice fat capacitors and we're going to be noise testing this with an e a flight controller as well as recording the FPV footage and a standalone ESC stress test and I'll get into that in a little bit. So this is a BB2, sorry, not BB2, this is a BL Heli 32 ESC. It runs up to DSHOT 1200. As you can see here, there is no current sensing and there is no LED. So that's something to take note of. It does not have the full feature and it's going for around 15 bucks right now. So hopefully it's gonna be good. Now, as you can see here, it has two heat sinks on each side. So that's pretty nice. And if we take a look here, right there, see, I'll, I love it when it's spaced out because this reduces the chance of, you know, solder slipping over. I really like that cutouts right there. So that's pretty nice in that perspective. Uh, the wires are silicone. And as you can see here, the power wires are 16 gauge. And these are probably like 24 gauge or 22 gauge. Uh, it's pretty, it's a little bit shorter than most uh, ESCs out there, but this is gonna be long enough right here. These are silicone, the signal in the ground here. Uh, do I see a telemetry pad? There is no telemetry pad, so don't expect any telemetry on this. So it's $15, so hopefully it performs insanely good because it's missing a lot of, you know, features of the BL Heli 32 class. So I'm really, ha I have high hopes for this. So let's go ahead and check its measurements here before we go any further. So its length is 26.5. Its width is 13.5. And its overall height, we're gonna do it from the, uh, we're gonna do it from the heat sinks here because those are the highest points right now. Around 4.2, 4, 4 millimeters. And the PCB thickness here, let's get an idea. It's around 1.2, 1.3, 1.5 I would say. This is kind of off right now. So it's 1.5 the PCB thickness here. Uh, overall, it looks very nice. It looks pretty good quality. Uh, that's all I could really currently say right now. So let's just get its weight before we start testing this guy. All right, so it's all zeroed out. So it's coming in around six grams. So that's fairly good. This is not a super accurate one, but you could, you know, give or take. Uh, it's gonna be six point something grams, I believe. So I will, I will be getting a new scale, so don't worry about that. I know some of you hate my scale, but I will be getting a new scale. So let's talk about the testing today. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, two types of tests, but in two different classes or uh, phases, let's just say. The first test, we're gonna just check the ESC alone by itself and see the amount of noise it generates. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check throttle levels from 10% to 100%. And then after that, we're gonna do my custom noise injection script, which really puts a lot of stress and it's like you're doing maneuvers in the air and we're gonna record that raw data. The next phase of the testing, it's the same type of test. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect a flight controller with it and we're gonna actually start recording the FPV video feed as well as the noise because once you add components into a, um, a, a circuit basically or just a setup, uh, once you put them all together, then the, the noise actually gets starts changing because something has more resistance or has more capacitance. So it's of that nature. Now the flight controller that I'm gonna be connecting it to does not have a voltage regulator for the VTX, which is what we're really getting nowadays. Uh, no voltage regulators for the VTX, which will give us a nice raw test result, which is what we really want. So uh, enough talking and let's get started.
All right, guys, so the results are in, and I've done about 10 tests of each uh, phase of testing or level of testing. Now, you did notice noise. There is noise. I mean, we cannot you know, deny that there's no noise. This, these things are pretty noisy, actually. Now, let's go ahead and just take a look here. Now, this is the throttle level, just the raw ESC was not, with nothing connected to it. Uh, I didn't have flight controller or VTX connected at this point. And um, it was it was fairly noisy. For example, here I brought a picture of the Tico 32, which is in its exact class, uh, which is a Beale Heli 32 in around this $16 range. So you could see a night and day difference. However, when you zoom into this, you see beautiful sine wave that's just doing this. But when you zoom into this, this is what you get. That's not a beautiful sine wave. So these do have noise. They are pretty noisy. Um, for for the price you're paying, I, I I you know it's 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 a bit too noisy for me. You know, and I'm not even getting all the features that I really would like and, and prefer. And uh, here, if we take a look down here, this is the Emacs formula again. This is just a raw, uh, the custom noise script that I've always been running on the channel. Uh, this simulates kind of real flight and maneuvers and, you know, a quick stop of the motor, a quick, you know, jump up and down. And it, it, it didn't perform very well, I can tell you that. 28.2 volts and uh, a minimum of, let's just, I think it was around 12 volts or 11 volts as, as a voltage drop, which is, that's it's, it's not very good. It's not very good, actually. Uh, so it's rated for a 45 amp, you know, it's rated for 45 amps, you know, if I use a bigger motor, I'm currently using a 2205S, you know, 2205 class motor, if I use a 2306-750KV uh, Emax, for example, uh, then this would be a lot worse, you know, you, we could probably have a 50 volt voltage spike, and I've had that before on crappy ESCs with that motor, so this ESC, you know, it, it'll work. I mean, it's 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 a little bit below average, I would say. I mean, at least for the price, it's it's performing like a Racer Star V2 kind of. And here you can see it's very inefficient at full throttle. And you can see here on the Tico, just beautiful. Look at that. It's just insanely clean. Um, and look at the, this voltage spike here. That's just insane. So if we take the middle here, we jump here. It's around four volts. Another five volt. That's nine volts. Another you know two point five volts. That's what is that? Eleven point five volt voltage spike it's just insane it's maxed out at 27.8 volts this, this, that's pretty high actually uh so this is very this is a bad jump right there and it, as you could tell right there it's not very clean and you obviously here's a zoomed in so i could show you guys uh what that was going on this was me zoomed in around i think 100 percent throttle right there and um it, it that doesn't look pretty good it's not bad i'm not saying it's bad but i'm not saying i'm not saying it's very good either um it's just you know all of the escs this is the average ranking kind of way but this is like a the most best beautiful perfect results you could possibly get what well, i've ever gotten from an esc so uh overall this one's good the price to performance ratio i am not really a fan of i i do not agree um, on that kind of perspective because you don't you don't even have current sensing or current limiting you don't even have a telemetry pad so you know uh, for me you know this is it's it's you know Emacs I don't know what are you doing I mean you're just getting just a just a tiny step better at a time just a tiny step you need to take big steps and um, maybe look for another manufacturer because you know this is not not very good actually uh, I don't see this very good at all. And we'll be playing with this later on. Low ESR capacitor will clean that out. But we don't know if low ESR capacitor does hinder performance on specific, you know, maybe there has to be a specific amount of noise where the low ESR capacitor could actually uh, keep you from not hitting your full motor's potential. So we will, we want to get be as efficient and to get the full uh, power of our motor with ESC. So that's something to take care of, take note of, actually. And um, yeah. To be good so overall you know the, the price to to features to to the performance i really I, it doesn't get a high score from me uh out of five i'd give it like two to a three uh so that's my opinion overall it, it's you know that's for a bill 32 esc I, I this is i don't i don't think this is very good actually i expect a lot more so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope it helped someone out there. If you like this content and you want to see more of this content, please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. We do have giveaways. I will be giving away Dell RC 4-in-1 ESC very soon on the channel. Um, I also would like you to help me and join my mission, join my Patreon to enable me to keep doing this full time. And uh, you could also use the affiliate links if you would like to support the channel and to just bring more data into this. 
you could also use affiliate links down there you don't have to purchase the same thing i have down there you just click it before you make your purchase it'll send me a couple cents and it all adds up it'll boost the channel's support and uh, i could keep continue doing this for you guys and for ourselves so all this data will also be in the excel sheet now the excel sheet will also be linked down below it will take you to the website it's on google sheets google documents or, or google drive sorry it's an excel sheet with everything from the fpv cameras latency i've been testing escs and soon i'll be adding the vtx's and receivers yeah fast shark modules latency also those will be added as well so that's going to conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i uh, will see you next time see you guys take care